What's up, everybody? It's JJ Mini Scale Garage coming at you. Well, kind of a <laughs> big bench update, really. All right, first of all, whoa, look at it. Whoa, 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 what's that right there? That, my friend, is my BJ in the Bear trailer. Oh, look at it. About got it done. Only got a few add ons on the back or the bottom. Back here in the back. It should be done. So, let me try to show you what we got going on here. Oops, what we got going on here today. A little bit of everything. Ah, baggy had a hole in it. Oh, well. Anyways, that trailer is the Mobius 53 foot um, reefer. Yeah, reefer trailer. 53 foot. As a matter of fact, let me, uh, kind of hard to show you guys, but there it is. That's going to be the back of my BJ and the Bear truck. I like it because it comes with two sets of doors in the back. You can have the, the open door like shoop, shoop, or the slide door like shoop. I'll put the slide door in the back of it. Um, that's about it on the BJ and the Bear trailer. I should have it down in primer tomorrow. So, let me get that out of the way. That was pretty cool. Now, all right, here. Yeah. Oh, got something up in the background, boys. First of all, I sent a buddy of mine a Ford NASCAR motor. Now, these are out of the new NASCAR models, Chevy NASCAR model. Them's mine. Um, I guess you say the ones out of the kit, but the masters. Okay, he sent me one. Two, and as you see, three. That's one of the bad guys I only cut the other day. Three motors back. If you look at the casting on them, look, just look at them. Nice. Nice. Um, they even got the, the NASCAR breather. Uh, comes with everything but the intake, which I got intakes. Because the NASCAR intake was kind of goofy. Kind of like the old uh, high-rise intakes. So here's your uh, water pump and pulleys. Um, oil pan. Ah, a little baby throttle body if I can ever get my big fat fingers. Valve covers. Beautiful hair. Uh, the heads. Look at them. Nicely done. Smooth. Very, very little cleanup at all. Okay, I got three of those. Now. Oh, shit, guys. Oh, shit. The new 572 Tune Ram Air Engine Kit. Beautiful casting. I'll show you some of the parts. I ain't gonna drag it all out because there's, there's quite a bit of parts to it. But intake. Don't focus. Look, you got the detail of the lines and the fins. Uh, transmission. Block heads. Tranny cover. Let me show you the little the breather part to it. I can get it out here. It's a two piece. There we go. I got it. Here's the breather cover. And here's the filter for it. Oh, it's nice. I mocked one motor up. It is nice. So, anybody needs any parts, engines, whatever. We'll talk to Manny over there at VGC Resins. Aluminum, man. He's doing some good work. Matter of fact, I got one, two, three, and I got another one soaking over there in uh, soapy water. 
So that's four. Four brand new 572s. Okay. That's part of the trailer. Now. There he is. That's a good price. Good price. So he... Any parts, man, they're coming out with new parts all the time. Um, that's a good dude to work with right there, man. Name's Manny. So just get a hold of him. Just tell him Big J sent you over there. From Jay's Mini Scale. And he'll hook you up and do you right. Alright. Now I got some stuff from JP Customs. But she got me some audio. All this bag is going in one next build. I've got. Need my hand here. What? One, two, four sets of jackhammers. Sorry for a second, guys. And the amps to go with it. And if you look, look at the detail on them. Nice. I mean, dude does some bad work too. Really, really killer work. Look at that. So that whole bag is going in my next build of audio. All right, now there's that. Now, on to what we came here for. Everybody knows I'm building a Sonoma. Well, look what I got done already, folks. Beds mocked up, row bars. Dead simple, no nothing to it. Wait a minute, oh, 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 what's that? What was that? Oh shit, got a solder exhaust, dual mufflers, dual pipes, and a whole lot of mocking up and scratch building. Even got aluminum dry shafts. The problem I had with this was taking the Camaro LT or LS1 or LS I'm putting it in. I don't know what I did with my pointer guys again I just had it oh ha, here it is okay I took the LS cut the whole bag of the transmission shaft off of it the basically tail shaft incorporated the uh, gearbox into it then my floorboard so I have enough floorboard to do it and then we got the scoop motor. I'm not going to smooth it out. I want it just like it, just like old bolt ons, like they used to be. And then, uh oh, oh shit, what's that, guys? Look, got a hole in the middle of the hood. And what's that? Voila. LS, baby. L to the S. Got it barely, barely <laughs> got the manifolds on. I was going to run solder headers along with them solder pipes, but. There wasn't enough room between the frame and the motor to run the pipes. As a matter of fact, here's the interior. Let me slide this out of the way. Here's the color in the interior. It's almost like a real dark tannish leather. These seats are the Camaro seats. You see it's still a little shiny right there because it looks just a little tacky. Um, I got the dash. Where's the dash? Dash it somewhere, guys. Oh, my slid in the box. Trying to keep everything together as I'm building these bills. But there's the LSS Sonoma. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's going to be bad. Like I said, I'm going to use real B-lock real B wheels. Um, soon as I get a chance to get to the hobby shop, I'm going to pick me out a set of them. Or see what, which ones I like to use and just order them off eBay or something, some cheap ones. And anybody want to know what, I've been asked about my color of my seats. This is some old Model Master right here. That there's the number. That's what I use for my leather seats. Now this is a different color than what's up on them other seats. Um, I had ran out of this. I got to go pick some more of this up. But I like using the Model Master for my seats. You can get it shiny or glossy, or you can get it uh, dull, which or flat, which I'm gonna go tomorrow and pick up some flat ones. But this is what I use for my leather seats. It's a beautiful thing. 
okay? Now, one other thing. Uh, let me spin you around here. The high pole hauler. Oh, it's in some soapy water. I let it soak in wheel bleach all night. There's a 572 motor in there too. Um, I just washed it, cleaned it with a brush. I'm going to let it sit in there overnight with the soapy water. And then I'm going to get back at it, get it finished prepped up. Then I'm going to get it painted and I'll get it sent back to you, Doug. Um, and what did I do with that dash? It's in there somewhere. Probably just fell off the thing. Oh, here it is. It's what happened to Phil. See, here's the color of the interior. See, it looks almost like a leathery. Now, this ain't been flat coated or nothing. This is just the color paint. But if you look, see the difference? So, but I'll get you guys to this color here if you want to. But that's the two colors I use for my leather interiors. Love them. So, alrighty. Well, this is Jay's from Jay's Mini Scale Garage. I just want to give you all some updates on stuff going on. The hypo holder is almost ready to be painted. A little bit of soaking. Some sanding. Primer. Painting. Bam. That was done. Um, I got a guy checking into the decals on it for me. I got... Um, the Sonoma. The BJ and the Bear trailer coming. Coming along. Which I'll be starting on the truck. Probably next weekend. Or next week I'll be on the cab of the truck. I gotta get the decals ordered for it too. So, man. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification button. This gives you a little... So let you know when I'm gonna do another video. And, uh... This is Jace. And I'm out.